So we're done with uh, with letter N. Tapos naman kita sa A. Now we we'll proceed with the third letter for module in MTB Week Four. Okay, starting with this question. Ano ang tanog sa kapinunan? What is the beginning sound of the words that I'm going to mention uh, with the help of the pictures? Abocado. Abocado. Nagpupon siya sa N o A. Abocado. Okay, if you can recall, Abocado, ang beginning sound niya ay A. Ah. Okay, another. Aki. Aki. Okay. Is it N o A? Ah. A. Ah. Okay. Next picture. Nara. Nara. N o A. Next. Nigo. Nigo. Okay. N. Tama. Next. Aso. Aso. A. Okay, now we proceed with episode 3, or we have now the third letter. Okay, I will show you a picture, tapos ibigay ulit natin yung English term, Filipino term, and then we will have new words, vocabulary words, Bicol. So, for those who are familiar in B, uh, Bicol, Bicol terms, so okay to, kaya-kaya nyo to. And for those who are not, ano, ano, not, not, uh, not familiar with Bicol words, so this is the chance that you will add or that you will learn more vocabulary words. Okay, ayan na to. Starting with, in English, this is called cat. In Filipino, it's called pusa. In Bicol, it's called Ikos. Ikos. Yeah. Another. What is it? It's a dog. Okay, it's a dog. In Filipino, it's called aso. Hindi aso, aso. In Bicol, it's called ido. So, my ikos, my ido. Another, in, Fili in English, it's called light. In Filipino and in Bicol, it's called ilaw. Ilaw. And then, uh, in English, it's called mother. And then, when we had our letter N, it's called nanay. In Bicol, another term for that, it's called ina. Ina. Okay, next. We have the word for the, uh, we have the word black. Black in Filipino, it's called itim. In, in Bicol, it's called itom. So, madali lang siya. Itim, itom. May pinalit lang yung I naging O. Itom. Okay. Another. Yang hinahabol ng aso. It's called a part of, of a body part of an animal. Uh, but, but it's a body part of an animal which we don't have. It's called tail in in English, in Filipino, it's called buntot. In Bicol, it's called ikog. Ikog. May ikog ka? You have tail? Wala. Okay. 
So let's recall the words that we that we were given with the use with the help of the pictures, beginning with ilaw, ido, itom, ikos, ina. Ego. So, I think itum is not, uh, is covered by my face. So, I'll write it here. Okay. So, again, read after me. Ilaw. Ido. Ikos. Ina. Iko. Itom. Okay, pause. Read them by yourself. Okay. So, what is the common sound? What is the common sound of these words? What is the common beginning sound? Ano ang pagkakapareho nitang tanog sa kapinunan? Ilaw, ido, itom, ikos, ina, iko. Okay. So, lahat or gabus yan. May tanog na I. I. And what is that letter that gives the sound I? Okay, it's letter I. Ano po? So, huwag kalimutan. Ito ang sound I. Letter name I. Okay. So, I have here different, uh, let's have this first, the first letter. Is this letter I? Does it have a sound? E? Yes. How about this? Is this letter I? No. How about this? Wala. Okay. So, between these two, which one is I? Ito. This one is I because this one was already uh, shown to you and then we practiced this already. This is N. So, this is not letter I. This is A. So, meron na tayo niyan. This is not letter I. Next. Okay, this is letter I. How about this? Hindi. How about this? Nawawala siya. <laughs> Ito, yes. How about, is this letter I? No. And then lastly, is this letter I? No. Okay, so if you notice, the letter I can be written in two ways. First is the big letter I, to, and then the small I is written like this. So how is letter A? Ah, okay, so letter I, that is what a letter I looks, and, uh, looks like, and then the sound is E. Ang tanog niya, E. Okay, I'll show you, so I'll show words with E sound, and then you tell me, sabihin nyo sa, uh, and then we're going to identify if the sound that you hear, the E sound, is heard at the beginning, ito sa kapinoonan, at the beginning, is it the sound heard at the middle, tahaw, or is the sound E, Ay, ano nangyari sa W ko? <laughs> Wait lang. So, may tatlong box yan. I-explain ko lang ulit. Okay, may tatlong box yan. The boxes, the three boxes, will tell you the location of the sound. We are after the E sound. Ano po? E. Okay. So, bit, uh, the three boxes is the location. Ano po? It will be the location of, of where can you hear the sound E. So, first box, it means kapinoonan or at the beginning. The second box, which is at the middle, it means the sound is at the middle or we call it in Bicol, tahaw. And then, the third box, it means, ay ano na yan, kapinoonan. And then, the third box, na nasa pinakalas, ibig sabihin, the sound is heard at the end. Ano po? So I will give you a uh, I will show you words and then we're going to hear where can where is the sound e located at. Okay. 
Ilaw. Ilaw. Do you hear the sound? E. E. I mean, mali, uh, maikli lang siya. Ilaw. Do you hear the sound E? Is it kapinunan, tahaw, o katapusan? Okay. At the beginning. Ilaw. Next. Ani. Ani. Do you hear the sound E? Yes. Where can you where can you uh, hear the sound E? Beginning, middle, or at the end? It's at the end. Ani. Okay. Ang ang bibig niya E. Kaniya. Ani. E. Okay. Another word. Sinda. Sinda. Do you hear the sound E? Is it beginning, middle, or end? Kapinoknan, tahaw, katapusan. Okay, tahaw siya. Kasi ang beginning sound niya, followed by E. So, sinda. Next, mani. Mani. You hear the sound E? Mani. Okay, at the end. Next, Ido. Ido. Okay. Beginning. Ido. Okay. This is how you write letter I. Beginning with big letter. One, two, three. Okay. If you notice, yung uh, standing line, it's from blue to blue. Diretso siya. And then, there are two slipping line at above and then below but it should be shorter so i step this is big letter i and then the small letter i it's it does not the line should not go beyond the red line so one and then to end it it should have a dot so that is big letter i small letter i so this is very easy wala nang curve lines all of it all the lines needed are straight lines. So, how is I written? So, try practice naman tayo. So, para din si teacher grade 1, kasi ako din nagsusulat din. So, letter I, blue to blue muna. And then, small slipping line. So, para sexy, wag masyadong mahaba yung sa taas and then sa baba. And then, the small I, okay, tuldo. Next, another I. So, I'll try na practice dapat kasi ako kasi para maging ganda. So, do not put a big, ang iba, naglalagay ng letter I ganito. So, it should not be, ano, that lang po siya. So, hindi po dapat ganyan. Okay, I'll try another one. So, sana maging straight ko na to. Okay, better than the, than the first one. Next, small I. Okay, I think mas gusto ko to, the third one. And then, I'll make another, a better one, small I. And then, another I. Oops. Okay, I hope when I try this on the second line, it will become better. Okay, this is what you have to do on your writing tablet again. All eyes muna, or you can have it alternate, papalit-palit, I, 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 tapos yung itum na ito, then I, 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 ikikog kan ikos, then I, 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 kiinday ang ilaw. So, the, pwede kayong option na lahat mo na letter I or papalit-palit. But, what will I look for in your uh, writing tablet is the uh, best handwriting niyo. Ano po? So, that is how letter I's are very easy. The small and uh, the big letter and the small letter. I'll try to, I'll try to write. Ito muna. It, itom na ito. Okay. As I write it, sabayin, or as you write it, sabayin nyo ang pagsasalita. Para, uh, uh, nagsusulat, na may memorize na din, masang memory na din, tapos na, na may memorize na din ng ng phrase, kung paano isulat and then how it is read. So, itong na ito. Lakas na ulan. So, itong so, 
Pinopyo ka lang yan. There are, they are all small letters. Then, what should I write are also small letters. And then, space na ito. Space ulit. Then, letter D. Okay. I'm done. Next, ikog kan ikos. So, I'll write ikog ang K ang yung dyan lang po. O Iko, tapos pag ano yung sinusulat ko sasabihin ko din para uh, at the same time I'm, I'm learning to read them kan ikos ikos so see you are reading na part by part next kiintay ang ino K here is big letter so I'll also start it with big letter K kintay big letter in dai an i lao so I hope this is uh, this will help you read and also uh, write them correctly. So, that's it for letter I. So, we're done with the letters. For the next one, for the next one, I will, I will now discuss what is in your module. So, goodbye. Dios Mabalos.